Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, China is one of the most populated countries in the world. Among many reasons, I believe eating for healing has much to do with it. And the ultimate form of eating for healing in China is called medicinal cuisine. Recently, I've been fortunate to meet an extraordinary man who leads this field in Japan. Today's challenger, an expert in Chinese medicinal cuisine, head chef of Mandarin Palace in Osaka, Hisao Oidate. At age 18, he entered the field of Chinese cooking. A year later, he flew to Hong Kong and received basic training in Peking and Cantonese. After returning to Japan at age 26, he was recruited as head chef of Kote Daihanten in Osaka, an amazing accomplishment. But Oidate soon faced tragedy. An intractable disease was haunting his two-year-old son. It was then that Oidate came across a Chinese book on medicinal cooking. I wanted to know about Chinese medicinal herbs. So I studied and I learned everything I could from a doctor in pharmacology. His encounter with this book changed his course as a chef and that of his beloved son. Oidate cured his son's disease. Oidate continued his pursuit of Chinese medicinal cuisine. Even now, he climbs Mount Rocco to pick healing herbs for his dishes. Hearing about him, celebrities started to knock on his door, seeking help for their physical ailments, and became fans of his flavors as well. Oidate's dishes. While upholding the philosophy of eating for healing, he adds his own touch, creating a completely original world of his own. We welcome to the kitchen stadium for the first time an expert in Chinese medicinal dishes. Since I'm doing it here, I don't want to serve dishes you've seen. I want to show that I'm at a different level. So now, Oidate, show us the wonders of Chinese herbs. Let us experience your healing and satisfying creations. If I can do things perfectly, I'll win.
Once again, a rather unusual challenger in here for today's battle. And with us to witness the proceedings is newscaster Miki Kominami. Welcome to the show. Pleasure to be here. Understand you're up on a lot of restaurants around the country. Uh, have yes. you ever had Chinese medicinal dishes? Yes, I have. You have? They have dishes really good for your skin. All right. I'm excited to be here. All right, lots of women would go for those, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank and you. our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hatori. Doc? Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga.異色道玄。その言葉を下で教えてくれる料理人がやってまいりました。あの藤山官民が富士の山に掛かった時にもその料理に助けを求め、そして今では杉良太郎森新一といった芸能界の大御所にも信頼されている料理。さあ皆さん
Doc, you've mm -hmm. heard of stage presence? This man's got kitchen presence. <laughs> Very true. He cuts a rather imposing figure out there. Got it in spades. And let me turn to you, Minami-san. You've had medicinal dishes before. Have you had them often? Well, I just love Chinese food to begin yes. with, and I even fly to Hong Kong for certain wow. dishes. Wow, just for eating? Yes. Save time and money today, you can have it for free. <laughs> That's why I'm here. All right, the challenger, Oidate, so far with just that one head of cabbage That's and right, working yeah. that. And how about this cabbage, Chinese cabbage? Different parts, I assume, used for different dishes, that'd be a given? Definitely, definitely, yeah. You can use the core, of course, for some dishes, the leaves for others. Yeah. All right, and here the Iron Chef got the cleaver and busting up that chicken. <laughs> I am assume this is for a soup stock or or possibly even a stew. All right, Iron Chef Chan and whoa! whoa. Putting this is some exciting, hey? Muscle behind that one, and now the challenger quickly. Oh, right he's there. just what's he doing? Just doing a, a light boil right now. Got them going okay. right out of the gate. Kazan! And from the floor, Shinichiro to go. Some surprising news from the challenger side that just came to my attention just before the opening gong. Challenger yeah, Oidate informed the kitchen staff that he's not going to use most of the seasonings prepared for Kitchen Stadium. The only ones he'll use are chili pepper, sesame seed oil, cornstarch, and little white sugar. He ordered the staff to remove all others from the racks on his side. Back to you. All right. Wow. That's interesting. Well, wow. kind of half expected that with him. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is going to be very, very interesting. Okay. And check it out, Oidate's a southpaw. Yeah, oh um, yeah. Another lefty chopper, perhaps the third or fourth left-hander we've had in here. Yeah, we have had a, a few. Chen, past. of course, a solid righty, and oh. the I Iron Chef four-man ro rotation, all righties, and yeah. there in his walk. Some shark fin. Early in the battle. Yeah, they're, they're shark fins. You know, in medicinal purposes, shark fins, it's the uh, chodroitin. It's contained in these. They're, they're very good for the skin. It's a type of protein, right? Yeah, it's a protein, yeah. so it's great for the skin. Oh, I want a big serving. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably have shark fins every day. Oh, before. right, right. Uh, now the challenger, and look at this, papaya. Papaya and melon. Yeah. Okay, mm. melon there and papaya. Would he be making a dessert with these or some other dish? Uh-huh, maybe. Well, yeah. in Cantonese cooking, they use tropical fruit for main dishes as well. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so true. So they, you know, they'll stuff things in the fruit or steam them, uh, use them as soup bowls. So we'll just have to wait and see what the man does. Mm -hmm. All right, and look at this, really getting down on it. Mm -hmm. Possibly that's... just decoration here. Maybe I thinking about a boat, perhaps, or some motif? We'll have to just wait and see on this one. Okay, but some very detailed work here oh, wait a on minute. that melon. That is a leaf, I believe. Okay, uh -huh. working that I melon. Agree. I agree, okay. so. So, so, so good, yeah. Yes. I asked John Joe what he thinks about today's theme ingredient, and he said Chinese cabbage is a food that has the effect of actually warming up your body, and I'm going to create a steamed dish today that'll warm you up right down to your very heart and soul. All right, <laughs> thanks. Now Iron Chef Chen, the tapping sound there, rapid 32 <laughs> beat chopping action, keeping the time. That's a really incredible skill. Ba on. Basic for him, yes. Yeah, I asked Iron Chef Chen how he feels about going against an expert in Chinese medicinal cuisine, and Chen San replied, he's a veteran in this business, I respect him. It's a tough match, but you know me. Whatever the opponent's style is, I just stick to my Szechuan game plan. <laughs> All right, of course, the Iron Chef going to line it up, run his plays. Here they come. See if you can stop him. It's his second battle of the year. Came away with a W in the Mochi battle, and now moving over to the challenger. Let's it's got this one here going into the wow. papaya bowls. Yeah. Oh, I see. And okay. cabbage in there, too. Well, now this looks unique. No, I'm pretty sure this will be steamed. In the papaya boats. Right, they'll steam it right in there. Uh -huh. oh, the bowls, rather, making yep. make book on mm. that? Definitely. Okay, Definitely. and what are the <laughs> ingredients in addition to the cabbage there? Uh, I didn't really see what in the rest. Maybe some eggs? Fukuzan? Yes. You're exactly right. Beaten eggs and cabbage, huh? Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. eggs and Chinese cabbage, all right. In a papaya container, kind of a chow and mushi style dish. I've yeah. never seen anything like this. Uh, no, me neither. Never had it before. All right, now. <laughs> Back with the Iron Chef, walk fired up, boiling this. Yeah. Well, not able to see where Chen's going so far in any of his dishes. Just a lot of prep work. Have no idea yet what the Iron Chef's up to. True, but Chen Sun, as a rule, normally just takes the first half to prepare a, you know, the right. beginnings of all his dishes, and then he finishes them all up at the end. Bring him in right on time. Yeah, imagine he'll be doing the same here. And he's okay. wrapping it with lotus leaves here now. Okay. okay, I've seen this before. And good yes. look at those right there. Definitely for steaming. Yes, And yes. this would add some aroma flavor to the dish, right? Right, that's, that's kind of the method to it. Yes. Madness. I've just received some information on these papayas. They have honey added to them. Hmm, all right. Honey. Fukuzan? Yes. I've just received some information on these papayas. They have honey added to them. Hmm, all right. Uh, honey. Well, honey, of course, good for your skin. So it's a medicinal cuisine again here. And okay. it's vital for maintaining vitality. That's true, mm. yeah. All right, and you know earlier I overheard the chairman telling Oidate that he's been uh, nursing a cold and 
Well, Dante told him to eat some honey. So, oh, really? Yeah, that's ah. what he said. So perhaps that's, uh, you know, the idea with adding honey to that dish. Right. He could have got the idea right from that, yeah. Could very well be. Oh, so it's a, a dish for the chairman we got going here. Well, you know, there's something going around. And several people I know have caught colds and could be what what's behind adding honey to yeah, the dish today. that could very well be as All well. All right, yeah. now back with the Iron Chef. They, too, employing the steamer, and I believe the crab legs here may have just come out of the steamer. I think so, yes. So steamed crab legs going to be involved in something for the Iron Chef, and whoa, the flames right there, and <laughs> now dropping something into that water. Kuzan, yes. Iron Chef Chen has just given his assistants an order to clean the crab shells, uh, some of the shells that we saw a moment ago, to clean them up real nice because he wants to use them as serving bowls. All right. Now, okay. here's Oidate with, hmm, this... Uh, uh, ham, Chinese okay. ham. And oh, a healthy and amount right there resting on top of the boiled cabbage leaves. So he's going to yeah. wrap these up and then what will happen? Um, not too sure, yes. All right, and here? Oh, shark oh the shark fin, yeah. Okay. okay. Kuzan? Yes. What looked like Chinese ham is actually raw ham, like Italian-style raw ham. And I also asked uh, Chef Oidate about his use of honey. And he explained that honey also warms up the body, so combined with the Chinese cabbage, he says, I'm trying to multiply the effect. Now, about the lotus leaves on top, he tells me those are not necessarily for warming you up, but they are good for the stomach and the liver. Oh. Wow, lots of healthy things right there. Well, what he's saying is making a lot of sense. <laughs> well, let's see, it's a lot to digest. Heating up the body, a, a multiplier for that and the ingredients they're good for the stomach and liver now what do you think about these possibly to be steamed uh, I think you would probably have to so yeah. we'd have two steamed dishes the other one the papaya that's a steamed effort right well in order to keep all the nutrients inside steaming is actually the best way to do that all right yes, yes. Hmm. all right and now it looks as if there's more to the roll job another item there okay now what's he using is that seaweed Fukuzan, this is called pot sai. Okay, pot sai, which is, Doc? Uh, basically a type of seaweed. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. <laughs> Back to Chen, flip-flopping. The man is walking in here. Oh, wow. He's okay. making soup. Broth in that pot there. Right, he's been steaming this, right? Fukuzan? Yes. I've got the ingredients here. Boiled chicken, dried shiitake mushrooms, rehydrated, of course. Long onions, ginger, kombu seaweed, scallops, and Chinese cabbage. Well, healthy looking, too, on that yeah. side. Well, I think the Iron Chef's also giving some consideration to curing the chairman's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. But but ginger is often used when you have a cold in hot water, you know? Yeah, we do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, uh -huh. he's got some lily balls okay. here. Okay, Oidate right here. Yeah, you can see him smashing ah, them up. Ah, yes. Yes, with the knob of the knife handle. So I'm guessing he's working on a dish that's that's going to be really nice as far as texture goes. Different tack. Uh, yeah. Like light and fluffy? Right, right, yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very nice. and he was using XO sauce, hey, too, wasn't he? Hey, check that right here, rice on Chen's side. Rice, really? Already wow. cooked, steam Kuzan. coming off it, yes. Glad you noticed that. I was just about to mention that we've just been told the Iron Chef is planning to make fried rice. Uh, fried uh -huh. rice. <laughs> oh, nice, always nice, huh? Coming courtesy of the Iron Chef. Meantime, challenger here, more wrap and roll. Yep. I, I think you do call this chakin style. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, this is a combination of ingredients that's being wrapped. Ginkgo nuts, edible lily bulbs, lobster, shiitake mushrooms, red chili powder, and sesame seed oil. All right, sounds great. Okay, but so he'll be steaming this as well? Well, that's what I'm wondering. That's three steam dishes then. Well, like I said, if you're trying to keep the nutrients, that's Would the way lock to do them it. in, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's the best way. Steaming is the best technique. Well, and steaming is used a lot in Chinese cooking. That's very true, it is, yeah. All right, now back to Chen's side, and what, what do we have here? Uh, beef steak. Well, there were some shiso leaves, yes, the dark... Kusan. Yes, go ahead. This is actually boiled Chinese cabbage that has been seasoned with hot chili and miso paste. All right, oh, wow. and being wrapped in shiso. It's almost instant kimchi. Which is inside. <laughs> <laughs> and the Iron Chef liking that right there, and now the challenger brush and paper. Are you doing some menu writing? Or? Starting in on some calligraphy. Wow. wow. He's a man of many talents. <laughs> sure is. Writing up his menu, just like Iron Chef Michiba does. <laughs> <Exactly>. About <laughs> halfway into the battle, we finally get a menu here. And let's see if we can make out... Uh, yes, halfway through the battle, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go. Challenger Oidate, medicinal cooking. And Minami-san, can you read these characters? <laughs> they're, they're not exactly everyday characters. Hey, no, come on. Why is this uh, my responsibility all of a sudden Can to you do read this? them? <laughs> uh, we pass it on to the next person. That's how it works here. Well, I can see that he's very good at this. 
Well, one that says Chinese cabbage. I'm impressed. I'll tell you, just about the only characters I can make out on the menu of a Chinese restaurant, sweet and sour pork. Oh, come on. Back to Chen here now. Uh, he's got the Chinese cabbage and there. And covering that pot with foil. I'm guessing for a soup. Okay, a Chinese cabbage soup then. Yeah, some a scallop and a nice chicken broth, yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep it warm in the steamer. And now here's Oidate. Wow, he's doing some intricate work here. Yeah, look Get a at close him. up there. Wow. Again. More, more close quarters Fukuzan. work. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I believe this cucumber oh. that he's sculpturing, uh, I believe it's going to be a phoenix when he's finished. A phoenix. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that is a frequently seen motif in Chinese cooking. True, the, mm. the dragon and the phoenix. Okay. And Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, the dishes that are listed on the challenger's menu have been translated and given to me by one of his assistants. <laughs> There's a salad with a rolled item inside, a soup, and two steamed dishes. All right, yeah, thanks, too. Ota, and there it is, man with the plan, a salad, a soup, a couple of steamed dishes, going for a quartet, and we're clued in on the dishes, and this one here on the Iron Chef's side, that's the cabbage wrap and roll, they've placed that in the steamer now. Fukuzan? Yes. I also have the list of ingredients being rolled in Chinese cabbage on the Iron Chef's side, a mixture of egg whites, ground lobster meat, and minced Chinese cabbage, and he has already put those in the steamer. Back to you. All right. Oh, look. Okay, that's a challenge. Yeah, he's nearly finished, there, yeah. huh? Oi, uh, the beak. cucumber carving. Oh, it's very pretty. We need a better angle on that one. <laughs> yeah, we're only seeing it from the back here. <laughs> you know, I think he's even got a beak for that. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> you know, I can only make a fan with a cucumber. <laughs> you can do that. That's something to be proud of yeah, in itself. Well, I wouldn't say that. All right. <laughs> the Iron Chef hunkered down over that one. There are eggs in there. Now, yes, rice going in. His fried rice. Going to get that happening right now. Back to the stove, pounding that down, flip it around. Now, if we get a look at the challenger here, he's got the completed bowls for his okay. uh, salad serving yeah. here. Decorative melon. Wow. Got the little phoenix in the middle there, you see? Oh. <laughs> and he's going to use the melon, I think. So what we were seeing a minute ago was, was for his salad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, Chen, knee deep in his fried rice. <laughs> Said it before, say it again. The pros, they make it look easy. Well, so well trained, so much practice. Could probably do this in his sleep. <laughs> I'm sure he's done this thousands of times. You know, I'm son, could you do this at home? Uh, no way, not even close. <laughs> How about the flip and catch? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't have enough guts to do that. I just keep stirring it round and round and Otherwise, round. Otherwise, rice on the floor, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, look at this, wow. <laughs> Seeing a real pro in action here on Replay. Hey, this is worth watching. Fukuzan? <laughs> <laughs> yes. A quick follow-up on what's been added to the Iron Chef's fried go. rice. He's added diced cabbage, the core of the cabbage, and it's been seasoned with soy sauce from Taiwan. Whoa, oh, okay, all right. Okay. Moments earlier, the 20-minute oh, call, yes, 20 yes. minutes left. Boy, Date starting to break a sweat. And there's his salad, I believe. Oh, this this is very good, mm. artistically speaking. Mm. I mean, it's, it's healthy and artistic. It's a great visual presence he's got there. Wow. And using the melon rinds, that was a stroke. Yeah, really and beautiful. he's also added some of the cuts of the melon into this, you can see. In the salad. Yeah, and abalone and bell peppers, I believe. Mm. That's what it looks like. Yes. A sad update on the carved cucumber sculpture we were seeing earlier. Uh, that was supposed to be a phoenix, but unfortunately the tail broke off, and now without the tail it looks more like a, a chicken, to me at least. Uh, <laughs> no. He says that he's not sure what kind of bird he's going to call it now. Oh, it looks fine. Don't yeah, say that. We, we never would have picked up on that if we hadn't been told. Oh, he's just too honest. I don't know. It'd fly high enough in my book. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks fine. And for Guzan? Yes. Yeah, about the flavoring of the melon dish surrounding it, he's added red chili powder, sesame seed oil and sugar and that's it. All right, thanks. So no vinegar then? Uh, not as far as I can tell. No, just okay. a very simple taste then. But oh. looking good right there. But that red chili powder is interesting. Okay. Sesame seed oil and sugar. Sugar, yeah. Oh, the fried rice looks good. Looking tasty as can mm. be. Good job. Sesame seed oil and sugar. Sugar, right. Oh, the fried rice looks good. Looking tasty as can be. Good job. Man, love to get over and get a spoonful or two of that. <laughs> hey, I want to go over there. Well, my stomach's growling over my here. My mouth's watering. <laughs> so no. appetizing. And remember, Chen's fried rice has Chinese cabbage in it, diced right. pieces of the cabbage core. Hey, you know, this fried rice is called Desire. A fried rice named Desire? Yeah, you <laughs> desire it so much, you just want to wolf it down. Absolutely. <laughs> Hold on just a little longer now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you can notice the smell, too, coming out through the studio here. I know, this is torture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Minami-san bouncing around in her seat. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see, clock shows about 18 minutes left. Not much longer for you to go. Okay. Now, Challenger Oidate here, getting this one plated. 
Oh, Let's see. okay, I see what I'll he's doing. That yeah. one. Yes, yes. See, I thought that would go with a dish with a phoenix, but I was totally off base. There, there are prawns in this one already, right? Mm, so he just okay. did that for coloring, I think. Believe so, yes. I'm wondering about the flavor of this one. Maybe it could be dipped in a soy-based sauce, or is it salty enough already? We don't know yet what the plans are, what he's got with uh, well, that. Well, I, I think the answer is, is coming soon here. He's, he's got the sauce, does he? Is that what oh, he's doing? Right, right. All right, Maybe. a sauce in the wok right there. That's, that's what I think, but I have no idea what this is made from. And here, the sauce going I, down, but right here, yes. This sauce... Uh, oh, that was the wrong dish. Oh, and crab eggs? What? Uh, Go um, ahead, Ota. No, this uh, may look like crab eggs, but it's actually a combination of hot codro, Chinese soup stock, and butter. Whoa, men tai ko Chinese soup butter? Well, now that's Ooh. interesting. Good luck <laughs> trying to figure out the flavor of what that one might taste like. You know, the Challenger's dishes almost look like um, French dishes in the way he's right? displayed them. From what we've seen so far, Ooh. now this is the Iron Chef's eye using the crab shell. He's doing fine. Snow yeah. crab shells, housing crabs. Yes. yes. So the ingredients used in this dish are crab meat, Chinese cabbage, balsamic vinegar, Chinese vinegar, soy sauce, and sesame seed oil. Oh, wow. Okay. So that would maybe be a little bit on the tart side of the flavor scale. Yeah, and that little bit of balsamic vinegar will add kind of a unique aroma to it. Okay, and you saw Chen getting some replenishment. Oh, vine, vine berries? berries. Yeah. Oidate side, the red one there. Yeah. yeah. Red Chinese vine berries. They're said to be good for the eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ami-san, that was a good observation. His dish is very much French style mm, looking. Yes, yes. The, the man's a scholar, right. isn't he? There's caviar. So we got picking style, Cantonese, and also French, I guess. <laughs> Demonstrating know a lot. skills in a number of cuisines, and now Chen unloading this one thick and earthy, a Chinese cabbage stew, I presume. I would guess so. Boy, does that look good. Yeah, it's got dried scallops, right? Yes, scallops. They add a lot of flavor. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. it looks good. And another dish for Chen that we're up to speed on. And here is the dish. Crab legs is used by Oidate, and yes, he has added a sauce to yeah, it. Wow. And for all intents and purposes, both chefs appear to be doing okay again the clock. We've got just a little over 10 minutes left in this one. Challenger Oidate again. He's broken a sweat. That's it though. He's been unruffled, unflappable through the course of the battle. The Iron Chef, no sign of feeling pressured. And here's his rolled Chinese cabbage wrap, steamed right, so and now cutting into that. This one, didn't it contain prawns? Yes, there were prawns oh, the, in there. Oh, the ground up ones, right? Mm, yeah, okay. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, and just a light sprinkle of salt on them so far. Yep. Wow. Don't want to project too much, but he could go with the sweet and sour sauce, perhaps, to go over them later. It could happen, yeah. We, do, we don't know anything for sure yet. All right, challenge aside now, and one of the steamed efforts. This is uh, the one that I'm very interested in. Have the contents in the papaya bowl firmed up, though. Mm. Uh, wait, wasn't that just egg white only in there? Well, he also had some cabbage in there, too, and now back with Chen. Oh, this is the patsai, pat perhaps. Yeah, yeah, wow. Okay, it works for your hair. So. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Well, patsai means asset or happiness. It's a festive word. So yeah. here's an asset, huh? Patsai <laughs> doesn't mean asset. Wait, wait. <laughs> All right, five minutes left in the Chinese cabbage battle. Challenger Oidate, medicinal cooking is what he does. And now it looks like these have gone back in. Oh, yeah. Maybe he needs to steam Fukuzan? a little bit more. Yes. Yeah, he checked the inner layers of this steamed dish and shouted, no, no, it's not done yet. We've got to leave it in longer. And he put it right back in the steamer. Uh -huh. All right, well, there's the first bit of trouble he's encountered today in this battle. Yeah. Well, I guess papaya isn't so easy to heat up. It's going to be No, it, it does take time, mm. yeah. But he's got to get it done here. Well, if we do it too long, it gets really soft. Mm. Well, I'll tell you, a good thing he started early in the battle. He'd be in real trouble if he had started this <laughs> later. That's true. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, now Chen on this one. and uh, Oh, that's uni, or okay. sea urchin rope. All right, in the uh -huh. wok right there. Yes. Okay, so uni goes into the soup, and okay, so the one with the lobster meat rolled in, right? He's making uh, something pretty complex here, and it looks know. very, very interesting. Okay, and adding some something more to that. Yeah, I think it'll just pour the whole thing over top. Okay, an wow. uni sauce in effect. Kind of rich, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the sauce with some chunky pieces. Kuzan. Yes. Challenger Oidate just confided in me saying the re-steaming of the dish we mentioned a moment ago is going well and things are looking all right, so he says I might have time to go for one more. Oh. In the last five minutes? <laughs> go for a fifth? <laughs> all right, yes, he's going for it. Well, uh, a soup perhaps. Chinese cabbage soup right there, swirling that one around. And in for the Kuzan? Yes. The Iron Chef was just ladling a sauce onto some plates. The ingredients used in this are evaporated milk, sea urchin roll, Chinese soup stock, soy sauce, and salt. This is a close up, and uh, let's see if we can get a group shot of it. Back to you. All right, so evaporated milk as well. So All this right. would, that one would be a bit sweet then. 
Well, mild, I think, would be a okay, better. mild, mm, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, now on the thick sauce, placing these pieces on top. Those are the rolls with the shiso leaves, right? Ah, ground yes. lobster oh, inside, yeah, right. the ground rolls lobster. soaking up the sauce. Yeah, ground lobster, chopped Chinese cabbage, maybe asparagus? Yes, asparagus okay. there. So the Iron Chef looking good on another one is Oidante barking instructions to his assistants. He's in charge over there. On the other side, the eye, oh man, Chen's been working hard the whole way, a lot of prep work early, the dish is coming to fruition late, but the Iron Chef now starting to put it on cruise control and bring it in on time. Well, the challenger, Oidate, is a great chef, I mean, a, a He's a scrapper, yeah. no yeah, doubt about macho, it. he's macho in the truest sense. And the sweat rolling down his face from about the halfway point on all through the second half tells you how fiercely he's been battling. About a buck and a half left on the clock. Yeah. Oh, here's the soup. Iron Chef keeping it warm in the steamer. Right, yeah. So let's see, by my count, that puts Chen at five dishes, the challenger with four and trying to finish a fifth the fifth dish that is at the end here. Now Chen lifting his cabbage soup over to the kitchen counter. That was finished quite some time ago, but it's been out of our sight, being kept warm in the One steamer. And now a minute to go, the final 60 seconds of a Chinese on Chinese cuisine battle using a Chinese ingredient is the theme, Chinese cabbage. And Challenger Oidate looks like he's done. There's his cabbage chow and mushi style and papaya bowls out of the steamer. Chen doing a final check. Both of them mm, very good as far as yum. time management goes. Both chefs done cooking and gang Oidate's managed to complete that fifth dish. A Chinese cabbage soup that is in the books for him. Got that started and done in the last five minutes. Iron Chef Chen, his spicy Szechuan dishes have certainly spiced up things around the Gourmet Academy. Today, challenged by a man who's the cooking equivalent of a doctor go. for Chinese herbal medicine, Challenger Oi Date, a healer. He cooks for those who are eating for healing. Food that's more than just satisfying to the five palate. Seconds. Food is medicine for healthy living. Three, we'll see how two, it shakes out before one. the panel. Final seconds tick down, and that's it. The Chinese cabbage battle is over! You seem to be going full throttle from the beginning, is that how it felt? Yeah, and as a result, uh -huh. it was easier at the end. Yes, I can see yes. that. And yes. so, how did your dishes turn out? Yeah, well, they speak for my skills, I think. Great! Does that mean that you're sure you'll win today? Well, that's uh, really up to the judges. But you have confidence, right? I'm a pro. Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. So, how was that 60 minutes? You finished with time to spare at the end. Yes, yeah. I wouldn't say time to spare, but oh? Chinese cabbage doesn't take much time to cook. Okay, I see. And so even though they were done rather quickly, you'd still say they turned out perfect? Well, the water content of this vegetable is quite high, so yes. you do have to consider the time. Huh? Uh huh? That doesn't make sense at all. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Challenger Oidate is offering five dishes. First, melon and cabbage salad, served aboard a melon boat with caviar and abalone. The subtle Chinese cabbage is enhanced by a chili and sesame seed oil dressing. Second, Chinese cabbage and shark fin soup. Simple Chinese cabbage and luxurious shark fins are stewed together, creating in the soup a combo of truly soft and soothing textures. Third, lobster in rolled cabbage. The sauce is made from oyster oil and butter and is what makes this dish a masterpiece. The flavor's thick, but still sophisticated. Fourth, cabbage steamed in papaya, served in a papaya bowl. The Chinese cabbage enhances this medicinal soup with the effect of warming one up from the core of their body. Last is shark fin and cabbage roll. Its decoration presentation is almost French style. The spicy cod roast sauce ties all the elements together. Iron Chef Chen is also offering five dishes. First, cured Chinese cabbage, two flavors served in a crab shell. Red chili and miso paste with a dash of citrus juice blended with Chinese red vinegar does the job of kickstarting the appetite. Second, Chinese cabbage and scallop stew. The cabbage has absorbed the flavors of both the scallops and the shark fins. The stew is seasoned with hot bean paste. Lobster and cabbage shao mai. The sea urchin sauce is what makes this dish extraordinary, matching marvelously with the sweetness of minced lobster in this dim sum offering. Fourth, fried rice. A simple approach using only Chinese cabbage and eggs. He added just the right amount of soy sauce as to not overpower the flavor of the diced pieces of cabbage core. Last, Chinese cabbage soup, Chen's version of a medicinal soup, using complete cuts from the core of the cabbage, adding a touch of sweetness but controlling it with ginger and scallions.
The Bible of Medicinal Cuisine, the book to follow for eating healthy and living a long life. And it's the cooking philosophy of this man who cooks dishes to promote health and fight disease. Today's challenger, Hisao Oidate. He'll put his medicinal cuisine skills to the test against Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveiling the theme goes Chinese all the way, the white vegetable, Chinese cabbage. Challenger Oidate finishes with a very healthy looking set of five dishes. Iron Chef Chen does the cabbage justice as well in his set of five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the Chinese cabbage battle are novelist Tamio Kageyama, newscaster Mikiko Minami, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Oidate. Smoked salmon and caviar together are a bit too salty for me, I think. <laughs> the melon flavor is quite pronounced in this, and the tenderness and crispiness of the Chinese cabbage is nicely maintained. But um, I don't think the Chinese cabbage is center stage in this dish. It's so mild and gentle, I think. And I like the role you made the Chinese cabbage play in this dish. This is a great soup. Well, I've had many great soups in Hong Kong using Chinese cabbage and shark's fin. But it's hard to get a soup this great even in Hong Kong, I believe. The textures of the leaf and the core of the cabbage are well combined, and the aroma is nice, and the flavor is mild. And the lily bulbs coming out of the cabbage were a nice surprise. It's very nice. Yes. This is such a gentle dish, so gentle and caring. <laughs> if you scoop up a bit of the papaya with it, it adds a nice soft texture uh, to the firmness of the cabbage, which reinforces the presence of the taste of the Chinese cabbage. Mm. The cabbage we had so far was all mild, but in this one I see a confrontation between hot cod roe and Chinese cabbage. It's a dish that appeals to me very strongly. He did a fantastic job in drawing out the natural flavors. His dishes have changed my stereotype or my perceptions about medicinal cuisine a lot. It's simply incredible. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. First you taste the flavor of the Chinese cabbage, and then later you taste a hint of shiso leaves, you know, just like pickled cabbage. This dish really kicks up my appetite. The spicy kick and the aroma of shiso and also the firmness of the cabbage. I feel like, yes, I'm, I'm ready to eat. You chop them up in bold chunks. Yes, in uh, larger pieces. The flavor of the scallops is expressed so nicely in this dish. Yes, they match perfectly with mm. the cabbage. The sweetness of the lobster and sweetness of sea urchin and that of Chinese cabbage, we just say sweet to describe them all. But this dish tells me that they are all different. I wanted you to use more cabbage in the roll, but I know you have some cabbage inside. Well, with more of it inside, the cabbage is center stage. This reminds me of my boyhood somehow. I like this. I thought this would make the dish watery, but I was wrong. It's nice and fluffy. Mm. Just having it before us, the aroma of Chinese cabbage comes so to me. nice. Great ingredient. It's sweet, and it's very good. 
The flow of his presentation was so clever. It was perfect in introducing all aspects of the ingredient. Had a great time. Verdict coming. Could be good medicine for one man. We'll find out which one.我々が抱いていた薬膳料理というものの Today in Kitchen Stadium, Chinese cuisine celebrated with Chinese cabbage, no less. Eating for healing, the cooking philosophy embodied by challenger Oidate, who more than succeeded showing us what medicinal cuisine's all about. Iron Chef Chen, his dishes nourishing, revitalizing as well. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef. Chen pulls it out, coming out on top in this Chinese cabbage battle. The Iron Chef, Besti Noidate, an expert in medicinal cooking. He did a great job, but today, flavor-wise, the healing game won by Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi.